Uh, Coach Mike Landers, the Mennonite College football program. Um, Mike, as you enter this preseason, your your calling card for your teams has always been uh, strong defense. Um, is that we're this, we're going to expect the same thing this year, or what do you think this year's teams uh, going to hang their hat on? I think every single year we try to hang our hat on being a high effort physical football team, um, and that's not going to be any different. I think in order to do those things, you have to have a strong defense. We're replacing a lot of players on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, we have three returners starting, and other than that, <laughs> we have a lot of a lot of first-time guys playing on that side of the ball. Whether we've converted some wide receivers to defensive back, we've uh, converted a tight end to a defensive end. So we're young on defense. Uh, the only area that we have a little bit of experience is the linebacker position. You mentioned that uh, it's a young team, 22 freshmen coming in, and uh, a lot of them with. A lot of talent, so it must be exciting to, to have that. How do you balance kind of the, the young talent with also the, the inexperience at the college level? We're just going slow. We can't build a mansion on a shack foundation, so we're really just taking our time. We started with uh, effort drills, uh, and then from there we started with the basics of from the defensive side of the ball, from tackling and creating turnovers on offense, from just huddling up to lining up fast. Uh, I can tell you this, this team does a really good job day to day learning lessons and they're progressing. They're prog progressing at a faster pace than most teams have, have in the past. Now on the offensive side of the ball, second year quarterback in uh, Jack Sheen, um, what are you expecting out of him and out of the offensive side this year? We expect a lot out of our offense. We think that it's a special unit, you know, Jack Jackie's in his second year. It's always difficult as a freshman, I think, to come in and take the reins. Uh, he has experience, um, you know, and really our strength of our offense this year is going to be up front. We have an outstanding offensive line, maybe one of the best offensive lines we've had here. And the, the offensive line has some of that veteran leadership that you talked about, right? We have guys that are returning that have played before. Um, you know, we have one senior in James Wolf. Uh, we have a uh, junior, um, and we have two juniors in uh, Chris Stafford and Vincent Tucker, um, and I'm sorry, three Ollie. And then we have uh, Komar Akers and uh, Amir um, that have both played played significant time last year. So we have a lot of experience on on that side of the ball up front. Now last year, uh, Norwich, the champions of the conference, was the first time ever that a team had won the conference for the second time. Um, there's been five different winners before that. Where do you see Mount Ida's place uh, among the ECFC right now? I think a lot of, I think this team has a chance to win a championship. Uh, despite its, despite it being young and despite that we have a thin roster right now, um, just the way that the, the way the camp's gone thus far, uh, I think this is a special group. Now, I think on paper you might say that they're the middle of the pack, uh, but the way that they learn the lessons, the way that they've been competing, I think it's a unique group. I think it's tight. I don't think they're a football team. I think they're a family. What have you learned over the time here that that um, would be probably the biggest thing that you would take away as needing to get to the top of the conference? It really starts with accountability, um, accountability for your performance, uh, being accountable to your teammates, really putting an emphasis that you do your job for the other guys that you're surrounded by. Um, and then after that it's understanding situations. So I think you start at a certain level and you make mistakes and every mistake that you make becomes a tool. And if you can learn from your mistakes, you end up having a big bag of tools, you know, that you can use in, in those situations. So it, it, it's really just learning lessons, how quick you, how quick, how quickly you can learn, learn lessons, and how quickly you can take those things and understand how to use them in certain situations.